Assalamualaikum. Today, I would like to share 4 easy peanut butter recipes that you can make at home. The basic one are the smooth and chunky peanut butter. Then, let's get a little bit creative by adding up other ingredients such as chocolate and dates. First, for the basic smooth peanut butter, reheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Spread the peanut evenly on a tray, then toast them for 15 minutes. This will warm up the oils in the nuts and help everything blend together more easily. Toasting will also give a deeper and richer flavour to the peanut butter. Add the toasted peanut into food processor up to 50% of its capacity. One and a half cup of peanut will yield a cup of peanut butter. Then blend for 5 minutes under low speed or pulse until smooth. The peanuts will turn from chunky to crumbly and dry in the bottom of the food processor. When this happens, scrape the peanuts at the bottom of the food processor and resume blending. Repeat the scraping and blending. Though it seems that the peanut butter is not turning smooth even after 3 minutes, just be patient because after 5 minutes, the magic will happen and the peanut butter will turn smooth. Optionally, add in salt, sugar and oil. Then blend until mix well. The oil will help to bump up the creaminess of the peanut butter, but you may skip this step if you prefer so. These are the basic blending techniques. You may use any other favourite nuts or add in other ingredients such as chocolate, cinnamon, dates or pumpkin spice into the peanut butter. Once done, store it in a jar and serve it on toast, apple or biscuits. The peanut butter is quite runny when hot but storing it in refrigerator will thicken it for a bit. Homemade peanut butter won't be perfectly smooth as store-bought one. There'll be tiny granules of peanut but that's okay. Now the fun part. Let's make chocolate peanut butter. First, blend the toasted peanuts until smooth. Then, add in good quality chocolate chips into it. Optionally, add in salt, then blend until mixed well. I didn't add any sugar or oil because the chocolate chips already contain sugar and fat. Then store it in a jar and serve it with bread or dip in apples like chocolate fondue. The chocolate peanut butter is quite runny when hot but the taste resembles Nutella except that it is peanut based while Nutella is hazelnut based. So if you want to make Nutella, use hazelnut instead. Ramadan is over and we have a lot of dates left over at home, so here's peanut butter with dates. First, remove the seed and shred the dates. Since the date is fibrous, it's actually better to blend the date into paste or chop it into small pieces before adding it into the peanut butter. Make sure that the peanut butter is totally smooth before adding in the dates. Then blend for 30 seconds until mixed well. Stop blending at this point. Do not go beyond this as the peanut butter will crumble again and it won't become smooth regardless how long you've blended or how much oil you've added. I had to add in water to improve the situation. Only then the peanut butter will become smooth again. However, the texture of peanut butter will become quite sticky but it is still spreadable. If you had to add in water like me, store the peanut butter in refrigerator and it will last for a few days. I love the flavour of dates peanut butter. It tastes so sweet even when I didn't add in any sugar at all. Lastly, let's make chunky peanut butter. Add the toasted peanut into food processor. Pulse for 5 times. Then, remove half cup of peanut chunks. Then blend the remaining peanuts and this milk. Then add back the chunky peanuts into the food processor. Optionally, add in salt, sugar and oil then blend for a few seconds until mixed well. Then it is ready to be served with bread or apple. A tablespoon of this is around 90 calories so eat sparingly. Personally, I love chunky peanut butter compared to the smooth one because the crunchiness of the nut. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Click the link in the description for full recipe or visit halalogy.com. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite nut butter flavors aside from those that I've shown you today. Don't forget to subscribe and tag halalogy.my at Facebook or Instagram if you have tried this recipe. See you in the next episode. Assalamualaikum.